A propeller is required to produce a thrust of 4,000 newtons at a flight speed of 120 meters per second at sea level. If the diameter of the propeller is 2.5 meters, estimate the minimum power that must be supplied. And we're given the density at sea level to be 1.226. Okay, so this is our question, and this is the formula that we derived in, uh, in a previous video. And let's see what we're given. Okay, so we're told the thrust is 4,000 newtons, and we're given speed uh, as 120 meters per second, and we're given the diameter of the prop. So we and we're given rho. So we have rho, we have v, we have t, and from the diameter of the prop, we can get s. Okay, so the area s uh, of the the propeller disc uh, it turns out to be uh, 4.9 meters squared. That's just pi r squared, 4.9 meters squared. I now have two rho S V and and T, so I need to get A um, as it's the only unknown. Okay, so when I multiply that out, I get A squared plus A. And I can say then that just rearranging this equation, A squared plus A is equal to the thrust divided by two rho S B squared. When I plug the values in, that works out to be uh, 0 0.02032. And I can write that then as a simple uh, quadratic equation. A squared plus A minus naught point two three two is equal to zero. So probably we're familiar with, with equations with this. You know, it's um, like x squared uh, plus x minus point zero two is equal to zero. Okay, so it's just a, a standard quadratic um, that we can solve. Okay, so uh, there's our quadratic. To solve it, we'll use the uh, quadratic equation where the roots a is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac. <clears throat> and just to clarify, like this a here has nothing to, to do with that. It is, this is the uh, coefficient here, which is 1. So that's 1, 1, and that's the number. So this is C, and that's this A here, and this is B. Okay. So when I plug those into the, uh, into the equation, I get <coughs> uh, this formula. And that gives me a value of A to being 0.226 or 1.022. So the efficiency is equal to 1 over 1 plus A. So we're always going to use the positive value. So we're going to use A as 0.226. And that gives me efficiency of 97%, which is pretty good. Okay, so I have the efficiency. And I know that the power out from the aircraft is the thrust times the velocity. So um, the efficiency then is the relationship between the power out and the power in. Well, the power out is T by V. I can rearrange that equation to get what the power in should be. And I just plug in the values. So the 4,000, the 120 meters per second, and the efficiency of 0.977, which we just calculated tells me that we would need an engine with a power rating of 491 kilowatts.